This is Matthew Cratter from Trader University, and today I want to talk about my favorite momentum stocks for this week. If you're interested in learning trading strategies that actually make money in today's markets, or you just want to see what I'm trading or investing in, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we haven't done one of these for a couple weeks. Normally the holiday season's a little bit slow for liquidity and volume coming into these names, but everything's waking back up in the new year. Wanted to cover a few momentum stocks. This is a very good environment for momentum stocks. We're currently in the most bullish period, which is from October through the end of April. This is seasonally the strongest time for the stock market. And we're seeing all the indices in a really good formation. The SPY, the S&P 500, trading above the blue line, which is the 50-day moving average, blue line above the red line, which is the 200-day moving average. This is what we like to see as sort of the index backdrop for good momentum trading. Same is true for the tech heavy index, uh, the QQQs, Dow Jones, similar chart, as well as the small caps breaking out, which we talked about a couple weeks ago as we move, move towards getting more and more people vaccined, uh, getting the COVID vaccine and the economy opening back up. We're seeing a lot of strength in sort of travel stocks, uh, things like Disney, airlines, etc. But that's not where the real momentum is. Obviously, the real momentum is where we've been spending most of our time on this channel, which is Bitcoin off the charts along with Ethereum. If you're looking for a stock way of playing it, MSTR. I like Bitcoin. I like um, MicroStrategy as long-term investments. So I prefer Bitcoin over MicroStrategy. So that's the first group, sort of cryptocurrencies, obviously taking off, getting huge inflows of money. The next group that's been very strong that we've been talking about for a couple months, especially if you're a Trade University premium subscriber and you've been following the Momentum Stock list, the uh, solar names. So S-E-D-G, very nice chart, uh, looking for continued strength there. R-U-N is a little more speculative one, Sunrun, as well as uh, TAN is the, uh, the ETF, the solar ETF. Really nice smooth chart and gapping up again today. The other group very showing a lot of strength is the uh, semiconductors, SMH. And again, just like with the indices, we want to see these stocks trading above the blue line, which is the 50-day moving average, which is above the 200-day average, the red line. This is one way of measuring a trend. So those would be, those would be um, two main ETFs that are doing really well. Uh, TAN, SMH, which is a semiconductor ETF, SLAB, if you're looking for names within the uh, within this space, within the semiconductor space, SLAB and QRVO. Again, I should say none of, none of this is investment recommendations. What you're seeing is just a selection from the list of stocks that I have on my desk that when I have some free time, I'm looking for a swing trade or a day trade. This is the pool that I fish in. And if you wait till the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a way to get access to the full list. QRVO, another very strong semiconductor stock. In mean, meanwhile, some of the uh, the other names, some of the more popular names are sort of trapped sideways, NVIDIA, as well as all the FANG stocks. They're kind of going nowhere. Uh, Facebook, Amazon, uh, Google, etc. really range bound. And we're seeing a lot of interest in old economy names as the economy wake, uh, gets back, wakens back up. U-Haul is one that's been very interesting. This is kind of a combination of a, obviously, U-Haul company plus insurance. They do uh, other forms of leasing, etc. Very nice chart, U-H-A-L, so it's showing some real strength. Also strength in sort of traditional uh, retail, Target hitting new all-time highs breaking out in a really, really nice formation. And another one, 5 FIVE, 5 Below Discount Store, also uh, hitting new all-time highs here as of yesterday. We have another, uh, the kidney dialysis company, Davita, DVA. This has just been really on a tear since the beginning, uh, since the bottom in March of 2020 was trading sideways and now breaking out here on reasonable volume. So that's another one to take uh, to take a look at. 
two uh, two other ETFs that I like. I like these as long-term investments as well as trades. IHI, very low volatility. This is the medical devices ETF. Uh, IHI as well as IBB. IBB is the uh, biotech. I could see us definitely at some point in the next year or so getting a bubble in biotech shares. There's been a lot of new attention put on the space due to COVID. A lot of people interested in this. Obviously, this is the uh, the cutting edge uh, frontier for humanity along with space travel is biotech. We've done a really good job with software, eating the world, and now reprogramming the human body, curing disease, etc. There's always going to be interest in this, especially interest in IHI and IBB as the baby boomer retirement continues to age and get older. A lot of interesting software names pulling back, uh, not quite as strong as they have been MDB, MongoDB, pulling back, uh, heading back towards the 50-day moving average line. Okta is another one that's right here. Very good risk reward trading right near the 50-day moving average. We're going to have to see if we get a bounce off of that. Also keeping an eye on security stocks, the uh, cybersecurity ETF hack, H-A-C-K. This one's had a little bit of a pullback. Seems to be bottoming as we see these sort of long uh, candlesticks, these long wicks at the bottom. A lot of institutional buying under the price, under uh, under $56. Etsy is another name that's been on our long-term list. Seeing this interesting rotation out of these names that have performed really well last year and back into sort of old economy names like Disney and U-Haul, for example. But these will definitely, uh, I think these will find a bottom pretty soon here and bounce. Again, when you're trading, when you're trading momentum stocks, you just trade the price action you always want to know where your stop loss level is. Maybe you use the 20 day moving average, maybe you use the 50 day moving average, or you use a big round number. In this case, for example, we could use 160. It was an era of congestion uh, before the breakout. We looks like we might be pulling back to that. And then we have the rising 50 day moving average line. IPO is another one to watch. The IPO craze seems to be here, uh, here to stay. This one's had a nice pullback. I wouldn't be surprised as the as new IPOs pick up in the new year if this one gets a bounce as well. I still like the uh, some of the alternate social media companies like uh, Pinterest, PINS, Twitter, uh, TW, TR, and uh, Snapchat, SNAP. These have been going sideways a little bit, entering a con consolidation period, but I wouldn't be surprised at all over the next couple weeks if these resume and we get breakouts to the upside. So this is there are different ways of playing these. You can play breakouts as they happen, as in the solar stocks, or you can enter into strong stocks that have been trading, uh, sort of trading sideways, but that still have a good upward chart. If you see something with a downward chart where it's really breaking down, we're below the 50-day moving average, as we are with Zoom, for example, uh, this would be this would be less desirable. We like to see stocks that are hitting new 52-week highs or new all-time highs and that are also trading above their 50-day moving average. If you want to see my full list of momentum stocks, as I mentioned, you can subscribe to Trader University. And what you'll get, in addition to gain access to all the different courses, Learn to Day Trade Like a Pro, my momentum stocks uh, trading course, Learn to Trade Stocks Like a Pro, which is for uh, complete beginners will really take you from A to Z in terms of your trading and you'll get access to my list of favorite momentum stocks that I update once or twice a week depending how much how many new names have appeared on my screens and what this is is this is basically a copy of the pad of paper that I keep on my desk where I have all the names of stocks that are showing good momentum that have good charts that have good uh, tailwinds and good fundamentals behind them, have strong revenue growth, and have a lot of interest as well in terms of institutional money flows and retail inflows. And so what we've, we've seen today is a subsection of that list. This is the full list you get access if you join Trade University. 
one price gets you access to all the different courses. As I mentioned, I have a course on real estate, uh, investing, a course on making money with IPOs, learn to trade options, learn to trade futures, uh, price action trading if you're very interested in charting and candlestick patterns, make money with covered calls, etc. So all of these are here. If you're interested, you can click on the link in the description notes below, It'll take you to this page. You can click on any of these boxes and that will get you uh, access to the list of lectures within that particular course, whether it's financial statement analysis or fixed income or whatever. If this is something that interests you, you could scroll all the way down to the bottom here and click get it now, which will take you to the checkout page. I have a special coupon code for you since you've listened this far. If you just scroll down here where it says have a coupon code, click it and type in YT as in YouTube 99. Normally access to everything, my list of momentum stocks, all the courses, is just $125 for 30 days access. But using this coupon code, if I just click update, that will take $26 off. So you'll get access to everything for 30 days for just $99. You can watch all the courses cancel before your 30 days are up and you won't be charged again. If there's something missing, if you'd like to see a course added or a lecture added, you can just contact me as a Trader University premium subscriber and I will record that new course or that new lecture for you and then I'll share it with everyone who's also a premium subscriber. And in this way, I hope to make Trader University Premium the best resource for new traders, for intermediate traders, and for advanced traders on the internet. If you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I publish my next video. And let me know your questions and comments in the comment section below. If there are momentum tickers that you're looking at, please share them. And in this way, we can really aggregate the best trading opportunities out there. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.